spreading the floor and, and ball movement being key to everything. Uh, did you feel like you, like most of those looks were pretty wide open? Yeah, um, no, it's exactly what we talked about this morning. I think a lot of it is just sort of feeling the game though too. Um, uh, last game one, you know, we weren't, you know, ourselves offensively. And I think a lot of it was just, you know, getting uh, settled in, like I mentioned this morning, um, kind of trying to find our way. There's a lot of excitement, just being back with fans in the building. Um, but tonight, you know, a lot of stuff that we had kind of worked on in practice in terms of spacing, get into our spots and just, you know, trying to make the extra pass too. I mean, we, we saw game one, how much they collapsed when guys, uh, you know, get into the paint or even, you know, how keyed in they were with Kyrie, James, Kevin. So, you know, it was one of those situations where a lot of it was just extra pass and me just trying to find windows. Malik Andrews, yes. Hey, Joe, I I'm just wondering at what point was like, all right, I hit one, all right, I hit another. Okay, now I feel like I actually got it. And then was there any part of you that's like, oh, I'm one off my career high. Can I just keep going for it? <laughs> um, I, to be honest, I wasn't uh, really thinking about it a ton. I was just, you know, you're so just sort of caught up in the game, the rhythm of the game. And a lot of it too with me, I mean, you know, I kind of say the same stuff even during the regular season where, you know, if I have space, I mean, I'm, I'm going to shoot it. So, you know, like tonight, for instance, you know, I was able to get 10 um, shots up. So a lot of the times it's like if I have space or rhythm, room and rhythm, I'm looking to try and be aggressive. Other games, you know, the game sort of fluctuates and you just have to take and uh, take and give what, whatever the game gives you. And tonight was one of those situations where I just had a lot of uh, open looks early. And then you get the confidence going, start hunting a little bit more and guys are looking for you. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Joe, I'm just curious what you thought of Kevin's defense on Tatum. Obviously, you had the hot start in game one and it, it seemed like Kevin completely cut him off. And, and I don't think he scored a lot outside of him, Kevin being off the court. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, obviously, just his length, athleticism, he poses a lot of problems defensively. Um, and when he's locked in, um, engaged, you know, he can he can be an unbelievable defender. And he showed that tonight against Jason, who's obviously one of the better offensive players that the, the league has. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Joe, how's it going? Congratulations on the win. Um, I'm wondering, you know, you said you, you had a good amount of open looks for, for a guy who what led the league in three point shooting this, this year. Do you, do you ever find yourself surprised or maybe even feel disrespected that teams leave you open? Uh, no, I mean, again, it's just like, you know, teams got to take away something. It's sort of a pick your poison sort of situation with us. Um, and you know, there's, de there's definitely games where, uh, you know, teams closing out to you hard, but with us, you know, when the ball is moving like it was tonight, and guys are putting so much pressure on the paint and then everybody's so cognizant or worried about, um, you know, those three guys, you, you just got to find windows. And, uh, you know, tonight the ball was just, you know, was being sprayed around and it was really just finding me early on. Um, so, you know, I don't really take it as a sign of disrespect or anything like that. I think it's just sort of the, you know, this is, <laughs> this is the reality of the matter. I mean, we have three of the best offensive players that I really have ever played. So. Ryan Lewis, New York post. Following up on Joe, that's kind of what I wanted to ask. When uh, when you go from game one to game two, you did discuss the ball movement. I mean, you did discuss the spacing. The looks that you were getting, was that, do you chalk that up to better ball movement, a different way that they were guarding you guys, or is it something else? Um, well, I thought that for sure our spacing was definitely better today. I thought that we did a better job getting out in transition too. You know, a lot of the looks that we got early on, we were because we got stopped and we were able to push. Um, you know, game one, it seemed a lot of the offensive possessions were a little bit slower, um, where even if we got to stop, you know, we weren't necessarily getting out, putting pressure on them. Um, and today, you know, it was uh, definitely a lot of, we, we, know, we, we were just the aggressors early on and we put a lot of pressure on them, but a lot of it started with the defense. And then again, like I had mentioned uh, this morning, um, you know, we know just from game one, how hard they were collapsing on everybody when they got into the paint. And so it was just being basically a willing passer. And there was a lot of extra pass situations where guys got open looks. Brian Mahoney, AP. Hey, hey, Joe, after you hit three in a row in the first quarter, you had that steal and you were dribbling the ball up the court. You could kind of hear the crowd gasp a little bit. Like, would you pull up on the break and shoot the three? Does that cross your mind at all? Uh, no, I wasn't really thinking about it, to be honest. Uh, I think I had Kevin running with me. And, you know, my whole thought process was just, uh, 
you know, putting pressure on the rim, seeing what, what Kemba decided to do. If he was going to come up on me, I was just going to drop it off to Kev. But, you know, he kind of tried to play in between two, and I just had a wide open lane. James Herbert, CBS Sports. Hey, Joe. Um, you know, you talked about this being, you know, something you've worked on the last few days in terms of the spacing on the court and making sure the offense has more flow. But isn't that something that has been sort of stressed all season long? Like, um, I was just hoping you could sort of walk us through how the offensive identity of the team has developed over the course of the year. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, it definitely is something that's been stressed over the course of the season. I think just because, you know, the first playoff game, I think, you know, the, there's definitely a little bit more of a, an attention uh, and an analysis of the first game. And so that, that was just sort of a big takeaway from our coaching staff where, um, you know, I think a lot of it was like sort of the level of excitement, the energy in the building. We were kind of creeping on top. So, you know, if I was in the high quad, whether it was left or right, you know, it seemed like in the game one, I had a tendency to send a, kind of to creep over to the ball, bringing my defender and not allowing one of the three guys at least enough space to kind of room and op to operate. So a lot of it was just talking about, you know, getting getting uh, uh, even with the, the foul line extended and just trying to play in that area. Thanks for your time, Joe. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Joe. We'll see you again in Boston.